This is all going in, so I'm just gonna add that to the cocoa. I'll do it this way. Don't need a, possibly a little more. A little bit, but don't mind the moisture in this case. So in those go for a new little inoculation. They're custard. I'm gonna sprinkle them over cup meal just because. There we go. Now that worm would have to be crazy not to love this. Bedding. So that's it. It's ready. That time again, the family is expanding, so it's time to prepare another bin. So this is what we're doing this time. And this has the complete approval of Blitz. Stay out of that stuff, man. That's toxic. Don't go in there, buddy. You don't want to go in there. That stuff's toxic. So our principal ingredient this time around, just like last time, <clears throat> this is actually cocoa coir, which I have actually sifted with a quarter inch sifter. So it's really just very fine cocoa dust. Uh, not much for fiber and no chunks. So really fine uh, cocoa dust. And so that, that that's the primary part. Uh, probably the second amount, Blitz has it right, is over here soaking is are these cardboard pieces. So they've been soaking for a while, corrugated cardboard, and that's soaking in pH water. Over here, this is uh, leaf litter or just crushed up uh, leaf bits. There's actually a little bit of dried paper that was in there, but it's uh, pretty much all leaf. It's remarkable how much leaf breaks down. This was this was one of these full of of leaf, and I crushed it up by hand and just took out the big chunks, and this is what's left. So that's probably the third largest ingredient. And then we have very moldy coffee grounds over here. They actually smell quite a bit. Uh, so we'll we'll be throwing those in, and then finally. I have a couple handfuls here of my recently harvested uh, worm castings, so we'll use that to inoculate. And then otherwise, I may just sprinkle on a little of this kelp meal, because I have it. So that's what we're going to do. How's that sound, Blitz? You like that idea? He's all for it. Okay, it's been a couple few days, if not a week, since I've checked in on my little squirmy critters. So that's what we're gonna do. I just made that new bin that you're going to see in this video before or after. And I'll show you why I felt the need to make a bin. I'm gonna check my newest bin as I do. First, now the Mars Hydro heat mat seems to be doing its job like a champ, keeping them comfortable the perfect right temperature with the smart controller. I'm gonna try these thicker gloves. I tried to go online and find um, a proper, like a good um, kind of glove to be using and I couldn't really find it. I noticed a lot of people using the blue ones. Are those the blue disposable ones? Are they actually thicker than the clear disposable ones that I've been using? You guys really do like that moisture and you just like sitting underneath there. I don't need you behind here. Quite moist. Quite a few of you guys on top. You guys are pretty good size too, you guys. Okay, sorry for messing with you there. Let's see. Everybody making a hasty retreat. Okay guys, I'm gonna disturb you here, give you a good shake up. Okay, that is clearly the food side. Dug right in. So I'm 
gonna start over here. A ton of feel with these gloves, so I can actually feel the temperature of the medium, which is not ideal. So this is my new spin. How old is this? Five weeks old, maybe? And looking at the material here, I wouldn't want to fathom a guess on how much is this is worm castings, but it's certainly becoming a, a larger percentage. These guys work fast. You gotta have plans for these guys. Okay, that should be nicely aerated. Material seems nice. Good moisture content, I think. Really nice material, probably. I would guess. Be nice to crawl through, hang out in. Nice, uh, like you know, consistency, texture, kind of. I think it's pretty good. All right, let's see. We're gonna go into the food side here and shake them up a bit. Sorry, guys, that was a little aggressive. I am gonna mix you up, make sure everything's okay. I did add a few more worms to this bin. And I keep dropping cocoons in whenever I find them in my castings. So hopefully we've got some new worm action, some little critters. Now, I did add some that paper that I put on top hoping it would capture uh, some of the moisture that I thought was getting up into the bin um, but it and it did mat up so I gotta be careful with paper it does like maybe right there okay there's a nice small worm I don't know how old that little critter would be but not too too old I wouldn't think So, otherwise, my only takeaways here is there's a lot of castings, the moisture content, and uh, consistency is good. There's still lots of stuff in the material for them, even though I haven't fed them in a little while. So, guys. There's a chunk of paper. It's not horrible, but I, I'd like to avoid chunks as much as possible. And things, <clears throat> things that take a really long time to break down. I want, uh, I want things to break down real quick, if possible. Yeah, so all in all, I would say that this bin was a success for my first real build. And this is my second bin, which I've just created. It's basically the same thing, so I assume it will turn out similarly, hopefully. Because this one seems to have uh, turned out pretty well. Presumably, supposedly, seemingly, words. All right, 
That's enough messing with you guys. I really love that cardboard in there, but you guys like it. Because it does that. This gets messy stuff everywhere. All right, those gloves didn't perform too bad. I can't feel very well with them, but you don't have to. Okay. I'm happy with that bin. And like I said, the takeaways were the uh, castings, the percentage of castings is growing quickly in that new bin. <clears throat> I did see a tiny little baby worm. And otherwise, everybody seems pretty happy. Now this bin, my smaller populated bin of the two bigger bins, confirm but was mostly the reason why I realized I needed some new bedding and possibly a new bin so we'll get rid of this so they still hang out there without the cardboard not as many it seems but we'll see so it doesn't seem as moist This stuff is why I thought I needed more bedding because when I look at this, it looks like clay. Or it's starting to look like clay. And the reason it has that consistency is that it's, oh, there's, an, look, there's a few. Can you see those small little guys? One there and slightly smaller guy there. So they're at it, they're doing their business. But this just looks like it is the majority castings. That's why it has, to me, like, it's sort of clay-like because it has so much castings in it. Ooh, that's a big boy. You're eating, right? Are you? How big are you? Or are you just swollen because you're getting jiggy? These all look pretty happy. So, what's my takeaway? There's a lot of castings in here. So, I have to. get these guys uh, more bedding and less castings. Okay guys, I know that was a big shake up. I know that was a big shake up for you. corners, eh? Yeah. I don't know. You guys seem to enjoy it everywhere. So, looking at the consistency of this, that looks very, very, very dense in castings. I don't know what percentage I would put that at, but on the verge of too much, where it's starting to look like it would be clay-like. But it's still a really nice moisture and temp.